So the uh, installation is pretty easy. I think uh, many of you already have the knowledge and still I want to just to show you, uh, you just uh, write this uh, you know, Databricks. Uh, I'm just giving you a short description. Uh, please wait for some time. So uh, you just write uh, Databricks Community Edition, sign up uh, and uh, click on enter. Uh, just address bar only. Then uh, see here. Uh, Databricks Community Edition sign up. Okay. So, and uh, you click on the first link, and uh, uh, once you click it right, so it will take you to. Uh, since I have already logged in, so it's uh, going here. But uh, like uh, for you, right, it will ask you uh, to enter your details. Only four or five details that you have to give. Uh, please uh, submit that, and uh, uh, then uh, one verification link will come to your email ID. And uh, you know, like uh, show you that as well. Uh, mail will be come, and once you click on this, it, it will prompt for uh, uh, change your password. Then, as and when you give your latest password, then submit it yes. Then uh, you are redirected to this page. Okay, like this. Okay. Uh, now, what you have to do? Uh, first of all, you have to create a cluster. Cluster means once you click on this, right, it automatically shows like this. Okay, you don't need to do anything because since this is a free, uh, you know, uh, free edition, free community edition, we won't get any uh, worker nodes and all. Uh, we get only one node, which is, uh, you know, driver node. Uh, I think, uh, uh, you know, here we have to use this and run our application. Okay, you just give one name, I given the standard. And then uh, once you give standard right, uh, since I have already uh, created a cluster, it's not enabling. But uh, in your case, once you give a, I know your name, then this create cluster will be uh, enabled. Then once you create, click this, it will uh, you know, create a, uh, this standard uh, or you know one single node cluster for you uh, within few minutes. Now when you go right, when you go here and uh, uh, notebook, notebook, right? So it will ask you to enter your notebook name, like uh, I, you can give any one name uh, and click on create, it will create, okay? It will create uh, when you're creating a notebook, uh, when you are, you are creating a notebook here, uh, I recommend you to uh, create this notebook only after creating cluster, because if you won't create any cluster, then here nothing will come. Okay, after creating cluster, see, it will take automatically this one. And then uh, for your, uh, if, you know, uh, if you write any code in this, automatically it will uh, utilize uh, this cluster and uh, show your results. Okay.